Hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing our Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon playthrough. Last time, we had more summer... Or did we start the summer vacation last time? I think we started summer vacation last time. And that summer vacation immediately got interrupted by ghosts at the school. <laughs> Which just seems kind of out of nowhere. A ghost story and a Pokemon. Well, then it actually... Pokemon usually follows a bunch of ghost stories, don't they? All the way down to Lavender Town in the first generation. <laughs> it's just I didn't expect a ghost story here in Super Mystery Dungeon. Even if- and the hilarious thing is, technically, they are still ghosts. Litwicks are indeed ghost type. Although that makes me wonder if there's discrimination against ghost types in this world now. They're like, ghosts! Oh, that day they aren't real. Meanwhile, the spirit's watching you. But last time, we just did a bunch of expeditions as the ghost story unraveled and then fought a fake legendary. It's hilarious that it shows Giratina there instead of the Solosis. But yeah, we literally ended last stream with uh, beating the false Giratina. Everybody returned home. Of course, Gabriel and me were the only ones to get caught because there is no justice in this world. But... Without further ado, let's see what else is in this world. And huh, for some reason, I wasn't expecting to be level 17 already. <laughs> the levels, they're just flying by. But let us see. Chapter 9, The Village's Sacred Spot. The next morning. Because we have a lot to really go down. There's a lot of story left, it feels like, or at least I hope so. And I'm not sure if I mentioned it last stream, but I really, really hope that the school characters, at least like the, like, other class, the classmates, stick around decently for the story. I don't want them to just disappear halfway through. <laughs> From YouTube chat, I think Phineas and Ferb just <laughs> rest somewhere in my brain. <laughs> Ah, summer vacation that lasts five million years from YouTube chat. And because who is even going to catch Esper? Her parents? She doesn't have parents. And considering that she's not afraid of ghosts, maybe, maybe her f parents are ghosts secretly. But funnily, we haven't met anybody else's parents. And the only one, to, the only one who lives near us, it seems, is Esper. And she has no parents. Gumi, Deerling, Pancham, Shelmet, no idea. We have no idea of where, where they live or what they do. Uh, so sleepy. All because we got all the telling off by Caracosta. So we're gonna be tired all day, huh? I hardly got a wink of sleep after getting lectured until the sun came up. Not that I can really complain. It's true we snuck out without permission. Of course they were going to be mad. I wonder how Gabriel is holding up <laughs> if Caracosta saved all of his lecturing for Gabriel when he woke up. Yep, <laughs> probably hearing from Caracosta right now. At least I don't have to worry about Nuzleaf being mean to me. Oh, morning, child. Up and moving already? Uh, you sure got an earful last night, huh? But I'm sure Caracosta's just looking out for you kids. He was probably just worried sick by that stunt you pulled. I hope you can understand that. Yeah, I, I understand. Also, that's just a giant, a giant bowl full of water. I don't know, just, I just never really noticed it before. Yeah, well that's great. By the by, I haven't asked recently, but any more memories coming back to you? You remembering anything? Nope. Not even a little, huh? Well, no need to push yourself or anything. Reckon you got pretty used to this world. Maybe it's time you saw some more. Sure, Caracosta goes on like that, but... Personally, I'm of the school that thinks kids learn best by doing, you know? Of course, going out on adventures has some risk, too, but you learn whole leaps. 
I never much noticed, but Nuzleaf is pretty laid back when it comes to adventuring, huh? Yeah, he doesn't seem to tell us off. He goes on his own little escapades away from us for days at a time and just lets us do whatever. He's a very hands-off individual, isn't he? <laughs> Every time I hear the word summer vacation, it just returned to me because of Phineas and Ferb. I've never watched Phineas and Ferb. Just ne It was never on anything that I watched. But I hear it's pretty good. Of course I know Perry the Platypus. A platypus? Perry the Platypus! Just, I wonder how many memes have come from Phineas and Ferb now. So I say you just go on and have your little adventures around the village. Though you should probably look out for them behem. I also do like that Nuzleaf consistently reminds us, like, at points where he probably feels it pertinent to remind us, Now just remember, there are those weird behem that are after you, so be on your toes. It's just like, it's a nice little thing. It's like, we don't know where they are, we don't know what they want, but they're probably still out there, so you be careful. Which is actually kind of hilarious. Caracosta, like, has nothing, like, right in front of him to worry about as much. Yet he's very strict with Gabriel. Meanwhile, Nuzleaf was attacked by the Behem with us. So he knows firsthand that we're in danger, yet he's pretty laid back and <laughs> allows us to go out and do stuff. I wonder if that kind of plays into it, where he feels like we're in danger to some degree. So if we're at lesser danger going into, like, mystery dungeons on our little expeditions, helping Pokemon along the way, we'll grow in strength and maybe be able to handle the Behem if they ever pop out again. That might be a bath, not a giant bowl of water. Who has a bath in their front room? Granted, these are weird little Pokemon houses. But it's just like, it's in full view of the front door. Like, I don't know. Pokemon are weird. Then again, Pokemon probably don't have that much sense of modesty. None of them, none of them wear clothes. I am more clothed than any Pokemon. I have a scarf. It's summer vacation, ain't it? Might as well enjoy your freedom. Thank you, Nuzleaf. Even if you're kind of weird. Gabriel, what do you think this is? This isn't clean at all! Alright, done at last. What part of this is dumb? Look, right here and here! You've left more of it uncleaned than you have cleaned. I cleaned it, so I'm done! <sighs> oh no, you're not! Unacceptable! Get back here and do it right! What? I guess Kiracosta is using cleaning as a punishment. What's this? Mail fell out of the box? What's this? A slip of paper? <gasps> it's a note from Gabriel! Neon read the note from Gabriel. Dear Neon, sorry, but it looks like I won't be able to play with you today. Kiracosta is making me clean the house tough to bottom to make up for last night. So we'll have to take a break from being Junior Expedition Society members today. I'm really, really sorry I can't go out today. Sounds like Gabriel's in a pretty tough spot. Oh well, it's just one day. I guess I can see if anyone else wants to go exploring a dungeon with me. <laughs> what? You guys got found out? And you got lectured by Caracosta? Well, I'd be scared to give one of his lectures. But I also felt bad about keeping it all from my parents. So perhaps being found out is for the best. After we parted ways with you guys last night, we actually had a little talk. Before we went back to our own houses. We were thinking about coming clean to our parents rather than sneaking back in. So I told my parents about the whole thing last night after I got home. It seems that the grown-ups all react in their own different ways. I totally got chewed out by my mom. My head still hurts from all her yelling. I really heard it from my parents, too. So everyone got in trouble, huh? Me, too. Meanwhile, Gabriel's getting it the worst, it seems. But then my mom was crying. Yeah, we really made them worry. I want... <laughs> made them worry because they knew you went and did a thing, or made them worry because they found out you were missing and then you came back? You know, they just really care about us and don't want anything to happen to us. 
Getting yelled out at... Blah. Getting yelled at a bit might be a good thing. I don't have any parents around to do even that much. Harsh. <laughs> we were all just talking about how glad we were to come clean before you got here. Really? And we were wondering how bad you and Gabriel handled the situation. I feel better knowing that you had to sit through a massive lecture, too. Yeah, but Gabriel and Neon didn't come clean. They got caught! They applaud us getting caught, huh? So, what now? Neon, you're thinking of heading right into another dungeon? Who are you gonna take with you? I have no idea. Sounds rather fun. I'd be okay with going. I'm down. I owe you one after last night. I guess I owe you one, too. I'm always happy to go. It looks like everyone's up for a bit more of adventure. Naturally, I am, too. Neon, you should choose who you want to go exploring with. Hmm, well, in that case... I can choose... Oh. Like, I don't know. This is kind of neat. I like Esper. I want to go with Esper. Great, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you, Neon. All right, then that's that. Good luck, Neon, and to you, Esper. That's neat. You are now my temporary companion. Let's go, Neon. Hey, what should we do today? Let's make mud pies. Now, I'd rather have something I can really sink my teeth into. That's not even that shocking compared to, like, the... Let's carve rock. Morning, lovely day today. Huh? You're not with Gabriel today? Nope. Hey, Mr. F Mr. Farfetch, how are you? Sorry for making you children worry. I'm uh, quite better now. I'll surely be up to teaching again by the time the vacation has ended. Though it seems that the vice principal is still laid up in bed. <laughs> is he just being a drama queen? Everybody else is much, much more fine. Compared to... Him, the vice principal. I love the music in this game. Also, I just realized we've yet to find treasure boxes. They must not be as important as the last game. As usual, I sell my pristine apples. Actually, come to think of it, do I have any apples in my withdraw? I do. I have lots of apples that are just begging to be sold. I have lots more apples to sell to you. I am going to become rich. Richer than anyone in this town will ever have seen. And just overall... Hmm. Maybe I don't need to get, like, that many Reviver Seeds. I only need to stock up on, like, hmm, let me see how many Reviver Seeds I have, though. First things first, deposit. We have 21 Reviver Seeds. Well, tiny Reviver Seeds. Uh, let's see... How much money do I have in there? Well, I should probably put more away. Let's put a clean a thousand away. Let's see if there's anybody here in the cafe. Hey, it's Sylveon! Probably the Sylveon that we saved. If anyone's about to have a fight, you need to come and get me so I can stop them. I can help them relax with my ribbon-like feelers. All right, Sylveon into bondage. Yep. Hey, hey, where's my guild master? It looks like there really are no problems if we don't go to the school at night. It seems like nothing more has happened after those events. Yeah, until they start making small scares. You can hear lots of things, except the ghosts. You can never hear the ghosts. Well, let's go to the school, because we can. ba 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 -ba 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 -ba. Let's look for any fallen items that we can put away or sell. 
I do wonder why the school is all the way out here as, as opposed to being closer to the, the town. Then again, we don't exactly know how close like this place is to the town aside from the fact that it's a decent walk. But I suppose they like to have the school be near a like easy mystery dungeon so that the kids can suffer in non-deadly ways. Yeah, because you want to fight me. Huh, I wonder what this is. Up here. I... You want to fight? Hmm. Because you're a dark type. Dark fire type. Which means I think I could beat you up pretty decently, but you do a lot of damage to Esper. And it's an unknown. Oh, wait a minute. Have a, about a quick... I thought, I thought because how about, and then I stopped reading. <laughs> I, I read the how about, a stop reading, and thought, oh, this guy wants to fight me. But now under some it's a very low level. It's like, how about I have a, tub, a cup of tea at my secret base? Huh, we'll have to see what Bayleaf wants. Because... Let's see. Because we already... Oh, yeah, the... Bay... let's check out... Oh, I wonder what's past that door. That's a very hard one. So I guess we'll do... Houndoom's secret base, which... I guess he just wants us to visit his secret base. It is a level one star, but I forget how difficult the, like, Salamence fight was, even if he's not gonna bamboozle us. I don't know. I don't know what to expect from this. But, considering that it's also a question mark floor, I don't know. I don't know what to expect. So I think, hmm. I'll take a few more blast seeds. Just in case, and... Ah, you know what? Let's actually buy those tiny reviver seeds. I don't know what to expect from this. Maybe it's a trap. Maybe he does just want us to have a tea party with him. It is a low-level one, but hey, I'm, I'm afraid. And it's a cave of training. Because, yeah, that is fighting Panseer. And this one is just, hey, go check out Houndoom's secret base. Maybe he does just want to hang out. Well, it's only six floors. Let's go, Esper. Have an adventure with Esper. You can't use a preset team for this adventure, but you can take one more Pokemon. Huh. Interesting. Do, do. No, let's be a little gang. Let's bring Victini along, because why not? I wonder if this will, like... Hmm. It is interesting because Esper is just a normal Link. Not a full Link, so I don't know. I wonder if this will, like, unlock Esper as being, like, a full come along and do stuff, or, like, I don't know. Let's go. Because I would like to bring my classmates on out on dungeon explorations more. Ember all you want. I'm gonna get that Emera. This Emera is mine. Clutch performer, eh, not really my best, but it does increase my speed if I eat num. Hello there, Neon. Hello, hello! Gabriel is being chewed out by Caracosta, so we're having an adventure with Esper. We're gonna go and see. <laughs> like, the current mission is checking out uh, Houndoom's secret base. Well, that's just mean. I was too far away to do anything. I've been stolen from. Get annihilated, idiot. 
Now we don't care about wands too much. I should probably use wands more. But I was like, I don't know. Wands just aren't my way. They're just not my ninja way. I wonder what level my moves are at, come to think of it. Another tiny reviver seed. What do we care to lose? I guess the Rostberry. Yeah, I have no idea what to expect from a hidden base thing. I At first I thought it was like just a fight because it said, uh, like, I forget exactly, it was like, come here or something, and I thought like, come here, have a scrap or something. And who knows, maybe this will still be an ambush. I don't know what I'm gonna expect. So I brought extra Reviver Seeds and Blast Seeds just in case. How dare you roar at me. Die. Well, I guess we'll just head to the exit. There was a Confusion Guard, but... I don't think Cave of Training has many things that cause confusion. Well, just the Petrify Wand. And I'm not a wand user all that much. Well, I guess I'll put the Confusion Guard on, because I can. Move on. Always excited to see more Mystery Dungeon. Always excited to play more. It's a fun time. It's just a fun experience so far, all these games. Poison Guard? Sure. Let's see. Oh! You can switch the order. No idea what that is. I eat this apple. Nom. Bum. Get all these pristine apples to come along. So that we can sell them. You dare? Prepare to die. Nom. Come forward and face fighting. Schmack. You might have an ability that is solid rock. But I still punch you very hard. And of course... Got here just in time! Haha! <laughs> Barrage! Booyah! Now let's get this... Hmm. I guess I'll eat it just to increase my health, because why not? Clutch Performer, I just nom. Darn it! Almost again. We'll go ahead and get rid of the stat downs while we're there. You missed, idiot. And now you lower my defense, die. Good job there, Victini. Get barraged, idiot. I wonder if barrage moves, like, get... multiple... like, activations of their... Oh, hey, you used it, so you get a level up diddly D. I don't know. Like, for balancing, I could see that not working, but I think that'd be cool. Level up for the Psy Beam. And we'll just head to the exit since that seems to be all there is. Hmm. 
<laughs> Unfortunately, the devs knew how busted Focus Punch is this time around, uh, and didn't put a TM until post-game, I think. <laughs> Considering that you can one-shot, like, Primal Giratina with the right setup with Focus Punch, understandable. And I didn't really min-max my moves all that much, aside from, I'm a gonna bibbidi ba <laughs> Just use the Link moves from time to time. What, wait, what even is a Tunnel Wand? Huh. Interesting. How dare you, Imba me. Die. Fall. I just love the music in this game. You dare do this to me? Prepare to die. Level up my force palm. I don't care about orbs all that much. I've yet to, like, run into anything that really makes me need to use orbs all that much. We'll let the Scrafty come closer so we can... Punch him from afar. Go down here to see if there's any Emeras. There are not. You dare follow me? Force palm. I don't think there were any Emeras on that floor. Huh. And there's only six floors to this dungeon. Ah. Ominous! <laughs> there just seems to be a lot of ominous things in this game. Alright, I'm going to activate Elixir. Now I'm afraid. <laughs> this is where Houndoom is. I guess we'll set that, because we can. And uh, we'll give an elixir to Esper, so she can continue to barrage. Ah, the enemy's already dead. It wasn't on my map, so I was confused. Where are you, Hound Doom? We're here for the tea party. You dare? Force palm. Just look at the little waddle of Victini. Eh, just a dead end. I guess it is a secret base. Makes sense that we're having a hard time finding it. That or the T. Then again, why would you even have a secret base in a mystery dungeon? Don't they just disappear after it floor switches? Hello! Welcome. Thanks for coming to my secret base. Let's have a cup of tea in the back. Did you really expect a green like that? <laughs> oh. Oh! Ha! Huh. A monster house is a room which a bunch of enemies will suddenly appear. Keep your cool and start opening the menus with X to check your items. Good luck. Well. Ha! Huh. Well, that's one way to do it. Totter Orb! <laughs> was not expecting... Like, I was expecting maybe him to... Like, try and fight us. I was not expecting him to just go, Hey, you know what? I'm going to drop you into a monster house. <laughs> 
I was not expecting that. Luckily, I always keep a room clearing orb on hand. But I always keep an orb that helps with rooms. Always keep one. I learned in GTI and stuff, always keep an orb to help you with a monster house. Always, you got me good. Sorry to have tricked you. Now that we're talking, let's be friends. You tried to murder me by proxy. Well, I guess I talk no jutsu to you. Or more like, <laughs> he just like, oh. This this Pokemon was able to survive a monster house that I tricked them into. Okay. Fear. That was fairly entertaining. I saw you get kidnapped and you wiped out a whole room of Pokemon. That was quite hot. I'll give you this as a reward for inviting me along. Oh! I wonder, like... Oh, feel free to call me next time. I wonder if that means that we're connected now. And if that means I can only... I wonder if I get more opportunity... Oh! The companions and the kids from school! Yay! Now I can bring them on adventures! Yay! I'll probably use them because they're story relevant. Wow, Gabriel has been having a hard time this entire time. I went on an adventure, I got kidnapped, I beat up a monster house, come back, he's still not done. Some of the secret base missions are actually just a cup of tea in the back. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay, Pops, how about this time? Shoddy work here and very sloppy here. Uh, but I guess it'll do for now. You're done. All right. I'm finally done cleaning. I'm out of here. Hey, where do you think you're going? Ah, Neon. I'm finally finished with all that cleaning. Sorry about flaking on you today. Uh, it's not really flaking. You gave me warning with that note. But I should be back as a Junior Expedition Society member tomorrow. Don't worry. Oh, Neon. Back already? Hey, Mr. Nuzleaf. Ah, I see you with your little pal. Seems like you were in it pretty deep with old Caracosta. Yeah, but I get why he was so mad this time, so I guess I can't argue with it. Besides, he's always mad about something. It doesn't even really faze me anymore. Is that so? Well, I suppose that's as fine a way as to need to look at it. I like seeing young kids being adventurous and getting out there, personally. Really? You're totally the opposite of my old pops, then. Do you think maybe my old pops is wrong? Hmm, you're the opposite of his old pops, huh? Caracosta's house is furnished. Nuzleaf's isn't. Nuzleaf leaves a lot. Caracosta is almost always in the village. Nuzleaf doesn't really care that much. Like, sure, he's like, a, no, that was probably not a smart thing to do, but he doesn't get on my case for going on a dangerous adventure. Caracosta seems to care a lot. Nuzleaf is kind of ambivalent. Eh, I wonder if this means that... Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> How opposite are you from Caracosta, Mr. Nuzleaf? I wouldn't say he's wrong, no. He just cares about you, and so he worries, that's all. <laughs> he cares, and... He Nuzleaf, meanwhile, is the opposite. So does that mean he doesn't care? <laughs> I'm just joking, because we, no, we don't really know much about him. And he's just been here. And, uh, like, I honestly would be less suspicious of him in that, like, little area. Of, like, something has to be going on with him. Because he keeps leaving the house on, like, business trips. So I want to know, what are, what are those business trips he's going on? Is Maybe he is a member of the Expedition Society, like, on the sly? And maybe that's why Ampharos got a call or, like, a note 
and came to see Serene Village? I don't know. I'm just not the type to worry much about things. The world has all types of folk. Maybe it's just because I like going on adventures myself. Yeah, huh? So where around the village do you want to explore next, Mr. Nuzleaf? Around the village? Well, if I had to say, then I'd reckon I'd sure like to see what lies up Revelation Mountain. That's an ominous mountain. That feels like story-important mountain. It's not just like, hee-hee, this is a mountain. No, Revelation Mountain. We're going to have some revelations up there, story-wise, I feel. Revelation Mountain? You mean that Revelation Mountain? B but... This music again. It's the quiz music, or at least a variant. But Revelation Mountain is like a sacred mountain or something. That's what it is, the sacred place of the village. I thought you weren't supposed to go up there. Well, I reckon so. But doesn't all that mystery get your motor running? Maybe it's because I'm new to these parts, and I don't rightly know exactly why that mountain's off limits. But I feel like I ought to be able to see, at least go have a little look-see. Huh. I wonder what is up there. Yeah, I know what you mean. But if I went, I'd probably get the lecture to end all lectures. <laughs> no one said you had to go. All I'm trying to say is that you shouldn't lose that sense of curiosity and adventure. And if you really want to keep it alive, sometimes you've got to be a bit reckless. Well, now I feel like you're being a bit too reckless. Like, there's one thing being like, yeah, you should go on adventures, to you should break the taboo and go to a place you're not supposed to, like, culturally. It's one thing to be like, no, don't go down that forked path in the mines. You're not supposed to go there. It's dangerous. And then there's, this is a sacred place. Please don't go there. Like, maybe there's a legendary up there or something. But now I wonder, what, why is it sacred? I'm interested. We should ask Caracosta, maybe. He seems old and lives here a long time. And if you really want to keep it alive, sometimes you've got to be a bit reckless. I reckon it's fine to go a little too far sometimes, as long as it's just a little. Anyway, you kids get back out there and give it all you again tomorrow. I think I worded that weirdly. And so Gabriel and Neon played together until the sun set at last. But yay, now we can go out on adventures with the school friends. I like that. The next morning. We're gonna go to that mountain today, aren't we? Well, maybe not today, but one of these days. Soon. Morning, Neon. Heading out again today. Take care. Don't go breaking the taboo. He's new to owning the house. His business trips are actually him dealing with the increasingly silly and stupid homeowners association income requirements. <laughs> that would be funny. Then how does Esper keep up with that? She's just down the road. She's a neighbor. Good morning, Neon. Let's do our best out there today. Let's go say hi to Caracosta and see if there's any secrets. You listening? I'm letting you kids off this one time, but this is the last time I don't want to hear about any more trouble. You got that? We are going to get into so much trouble, I think. Duh. I love the music in this game. It's just very nice. Hello, Esper. Morning, Neon. Morning, Gabriel. Even the why does the also the town is just empty? There's literally no one. So cutscene time. Huh? Isn't that? Hey, Pelipper! Pelipper! He delivered mail. Or news, I guess. That really was Pelipper, wasn't it? I wonder if something's going on. I read all about it in the special edition. Apparently, there's been a rash of incidents of Pokemon turning to stone. <laughs> Finally, it's reached the town. So more than just that Waylord have been turned into stone. Remember to stay hydrated, everybody. It's like 90 degrees outside for me. What? Pokemon are turning to stone? You mean like stone stone? Like they're turning into rocks? Why would they? I have no idea. 
This is the first I've heard of it. Pokemon turning into stone, really. Is it happening here in our village? Not a whisper of it. Things are as peaceful as can be. There have been no signs of such a thing happening anywhere around here. I suppose it's just affecting faraway places like Lively Town. Yeah, we are pretty isolated out here. There are lots of things we don't know about going on outside our village. Man, I can't wait to get out of the village and see more of the world. Uh, you do remember that you're just a kid, right? And the world is wide and full of all kinds of dangerous things. You could get turned into stone, even. Uh, yeah, I know all that. I'll just have to wait until I'm older. Interesting. Pokemon turning into stone. That's not something even I would want to carve, no sir. It's all a bit scary, Pokemon turning into stone and whatnot. Nothing like that ever happens here. It seems perfectly safe. There was that thing with Mr. Farfetch disappearing off somewhere. Yeah, but that was just Litwick. Remember to stay hydrated, or you may turn to stone too. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what's going on outside our v peaceful village. Game, don't you dare turn like Badu into a a stone statue. That would be horrifying. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. I don't want to sell more. I want to buy more. Buy gold. Do 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 do. I guess I'll buy one. I'll buy one reviver seed. <laughs> ba -ba -ba. We'll put away the silver spikes. Put away a handful of our reviver seeds. Actually, have room here. Withdraw some apples. Buy some apples. We'll quickly check the school for items. There might be secret items, like another reviver seed. I think that everything has settled down here. I stayed overnight and nothing happened. Well, there was one thing. When I wasn't looking, someone seems to have put up new flowers in the staff room. I wonder who would have come by, though. It seems that you have a friend out there in the world somewhere. The Litwick came by and put the flowers. That's nice. In fact, I also found an apple beside my bed when I woke up this morning. But thank you for the report at least. Nothing bad seems to be happening. So I think we'll probably close the books on this one for now. There are still unanswered questions, but it seems like things are back to normal. At least now we know that the Litwick are doing nice little things. Now my brain went, what if the town got attacked by like, I don't know, a dark army or something that the Litwick came out to help. I think that'd be neat. I don't think there would be anything like that. That would be a little bit dark for a mystery dungeon game. To just have an outright attack on the hometown. Well, let's look at the connection orb. Ba -ba -da -da. Hey, Polipper wants help. We just saw you, you idiot. Rescue Polipper from Stonefield again. What about you? How about a battle? I'm bored. From Pee Wee Metal. We'll accept. <laughs> Pee Wee Metal? Pee Wee Meadow. We'll put that away. We'll probably go save Polipper, because that one will probably be easier and doesn't mean we'll. Absolutely get wrecked. Do, 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 do. Let's go to the stone field. Let me double check. Rescue Polipper. He was just here delivering our mail. Put Gabriel back in, and you know what? Oh, yeah, let's bring Deerling along. Come along, Deerling. 
Let's go on an adventure. Let's -a go. Someone picked up a guard boost for me. <laughs> Boss bomb. Good job there, dearling. Nom. Shit. Man, you are a speedy little fuck, aren't you? Die. Speedy and tanky, and there's another enemy behind us. Hey, you leveled up your flame charge. Good job. All right, there's just a ton of enemies coming. Just an absolute whopper. Shit. Let's get out of this room. <laughs> Man, I forgot to bring a monster house orb. Oh no. An orb to try and save us from uh, being utterly walloped by a mystery dungeon. <laughs> Neon. Hey, Deerling, let's go on an adventure. Gabriel. Deerling, let's go on an adventure. Deerling. Oh, God, there's two of them now. To be fair, she did offer yesterday. And she survived the ancient barrow, so this is just going to be super easy. <laughs> Bleh. Sneezing is does weird things to the body. Oh, neat. It feels like the camera actually zoomed out. A level up for dealing. Huzzah. And we'll let you survive. No idea where the guard boost guy is, though. Nom. Somebody picked up a guard boost and then just fucked off to nowhere. <laughs> They're multiplying. What have I done? Soon even Deerling will join the <laughs> Expedition Society. Trap proof? Eh, that, that, that's a pretty good one. Good job, Deerling. You're kicking ass out here. Quit growling and die already. Time for you to die. There we go. Now we are back to normal. That giraffe rig failed in its attempts to kill me. Die, crustacean. Nom. Uh, hey, an axe you. You're a fake axe you. You're not the real lock. Get out of here. It's just kind of interesting to see. Oh, yeah, because axe you isn't a starter in this game. That's why it feels weird. Because, like. I don't know, it's, just, it's kind of interesting, because Axew was a starter for GTI, but not this game. Hmm, Trap Proof? Uh, what a stat do you give me? HP? You know what? Nobody else is going to be stepping on the traps except me, so nam. Ow, bastard. Wand Expert? I'm just going to use you no matter what, nom. I don't have any wands. Now you stop that. Die. You leave Deerling alone, you bastard. Heal up a little bit and move along. There's a fainted Pokemon on this floor. Go up to the Pokemon and give them an apple. It went away very fast and I couldn't read.
How dare you dragon rage at me? Die! We just gotta walk around and find Mr. Pilipper's dead body. Feed it an apple, it'll come back to life. Such is the magic of the universe. Do, 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 do. Again, some segments of this song reminds me... Uh, the guitar reminds me a bit of like... Oh, it's not even Polipper, it's just a random guy. Well, definitely set this. Have an apple. Have an apple. Psyduck! Has recovered from fainting. Here, I thought you were a polipper. Thank you so much. I think I feel better now. I think I feel that way anyway. <laughs> I do not know if I am fine. I can only think if I am. He just wants to come along in adventures to get free apples, doesn't he? Oh, hey, Corefish! And it leads to the others from Explorers. Neat. Would you like to escape? No. And here I thought we were going to be finding Polypper this floor, but it's the completely wrong floor. I kill you. Well, apparently not hard enough. Ah, shit. I'm gonna get puppeteered. But thanks to Deerling for kicking me awake. What the fuck? Ow. I need to get rid of you. I'm super effective against you. Oh, you bastard, die! You know, we just found uh, an orange berry. At least I thought we did, I guess. Huh. I thought we found an orange berry. Well, 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 we'll try to waddle along and heal up as we go. <laughs> but I wasn't expecting the Machamp to use his friend as a weapon. I just wasn't expecting it all that much. Paralysis guard? Sure, I'll take that. But I guess that explains what was happening when I fought the... Uh... Machops. They were, they were just throwing each other all over the place to get me. I thought it was just a move. I I was did not uh, I was not expecting it to actually be a movement thing. It just seems insane. Do, 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 do. And that seems to be everything here. Let's move along. Oh yeah, because for a moment I was like, but we haven't found Polipper on this floor yet. Because it wasn't for Polipper, it was for <laughs> Psyduck, who is just here randomly. You've arrived at the floor where Polipper is. We must kill God to, to save him. Yeah, come get come closer and fight me. Vacuum wave. This is the power of the vacuum wave. It will kill you all. Well, you just stay right here now that we know where you are and the fact that you don't seem to move, which is good for me. I've got items to pick up on this floor. Like this money here. Hello, pawn... Yeah, pawn yard. Die. I cover for Deerling. You will not hurt her, you bastard. Get utterly annihilated. Get schmacked. 
I grow in power. I grow in the strength to kill my enemies. <laughs> oh, thank God. Someone to help me. Wait, where are you going? Capitalism. And <laughs> another 100 pokey for me. And the... <laughs> Is that what I think it is? Okay. <laughs> it's still pretty good. I d for a moment there, I thought it was the level up seed. It's just I haven't seen a pure seed in frickin' forever. So I just kind of assumed. Gabriel can handle this ping pong. Die. That won't help you. Die. False palm. And now we'll come save the man. You found Pelipper. Da -da. Wow, thanks a lot. You saved me. Now we control the news. We have a friend on the inside of the news. Yeah, sure, it is insane, but there could be other things ahead, so we move along. Bah. Hey, Caracosta. Oh, hey, Pops. You two, you on your way home? Yeah. Perfect timing, then. I was just about to get started on making dinner. You come home and help me. What? In return, you'll get to eat something extra tasty tonight. Sound fair? Mm, all right. If he'll get me something good to eat, then I've got to do it. <laughs> I just read that weirdly. I'll help. Looks like we have a deal. Come along, then. Oh, um, Pops? What is it? What kind of place is Revelation Mountain? I mean, I know we're not supposed to go there, but... That's right. Revelation Mountain has been a sacred site for our village since long ago. It's a taboo that has been passed down from generation to generation. But why is it taboo? I don't know. What? You don't? Well, what's up there? I don't know that either. I suppose there must be something sacred up there. We have a tradition here in Sacred Village of guarding the mountain. That's all I know. It's a tradition that we inherited from our parents, and their parents before them. You'd better not tell me. You're not thinking of going up there. N no, of course not. I started thinking about it when Mr. Nuzleaf was saying how mysterious it is, and then I started wondering why it is that we're not supposed to go there. I see. That's all right, then, as long as you remember that you're not to go there. All right, then let's head back home and get started on that dinner. <laughs> I gotta say, like, I feel Gabriel wouldn't want to go to Sacred Mountain because there's not a good reason to go up there. Like, the reason we went into the Ancient Barrow, even though we're not supposed to, was because Pancham and Shelmet got taken there. The reason why we went to Polyrath River, even though Caracosta told us not to go there, was because we wanted to return the connection orb to Ampharos, and Caracosta only wanted us to not go there because it was dangerous. It, this doesn't feel like the kind of place Gabriel would want to go. And from YouTube chat, hey Neon, hello, hello! Now the real question is... Because they are introducing S Revelation Mountain, so I feel like we're going to go there eventually, maybe. <laughs> Already the companions have powerful insight connections to the news outlets of the world. Soon no one will be able to stop us. Today we befriend the news. Tomorrow, God. The next, the one above God. Kecleon. The ultimate god of commerce. Neon, you want to come along? Great, now we all get to eat delicious food together.
But yeah, I just, I don't know. They're introducing Revelation Mountain, so... It's possible maybe something will happen that will hint towards, hey, you need to go to Revelation Mountain, and Gabriel will feel like, like oh, even though it's taboo, we should still go there because breaking the taboo is less important than whatever it is that we do by breaking the taboo or something. I don't know. It just doesn't feel like Gabriel would want to go to the Revelation Mountain just for the sake of it. Morning, Neon. Heading out again. Take care. Good morning, Neon. Let's do our best out there today. But first, we wander around town. Ha ha ha! Thievery! Don't you wander off too far, and don't you go anywhere strange either! I do like that Karakosta's place is kind of styled after him. It has his aesthetic. Hello, Badu. Morning, Neon. Morning, Gabriel. Good morning. Aren't you two up early? God, I wish I could. Maybe that's the real sign that we're children. We're up. We're able to get up early. Good morning, Neon, and you too, Gabriel. All cutscene time because nobody spawned in. Where is everyone? So, Neon. Gabriel, no. I had faith in you. Where should we go today? Hold up there, you two young'uns. Huh, Mr. Nuzleaf? Are you going to be slightly suspicious and point us towards Revelation Mountain? Hmm. You are the one that introduced it to us. Maybe it has to do with all his wanderings of business. Maybe he's an outlaw and he wants to take the sacred treasure up Sacred Mountain. Who knows? Come on over this way. What is it, Mr. Nuzleaf? Shh, keep your voices down. I've just got a little something to run by you two. Come on, this way. Weird. Because, like, there's still, there has to be something with Mr. Nuzleaf going on those trips. What? Up Revelation Mountain? How many times can I tell you to keep quiet, child? I'm going in secret, naturally. So I'll thank you to keep your voice down. But my old pops told me just yesterday that we absolutely can't go there. Yeah, I know that line of thinking. But then I also thought... What? About Neon here. About... Neon? Yeah. Neon used to be human and lost any memories of that life. I ain't got no proof, but I feel like there's something big behind all this. We were just waiting around, twiddling our thumbs and seeing if anything changed, but we still haven't learned anything. He did ask us, I think, on that day, if we remember anything. Huh, so maybe he thinks, since it's a sacred mountain, that maybe there could be something up there to help us? Because he's not wrong. Humans have only ever really shown up when something big was going down. But we still haven't learned a thing. And Neon's still got no memories. So I wonder if maybe he might have been wandering around on those trips to try and find something. To look into humans or why we became human. Hmm. Wonder why he wouldn't tell us, so we'll have to wait and see. But we still haven't learned a thing, and Neon's still got no memories. So I was thinking it was high time I started to do some investigating of my own. And that's why you want to go to Revelation Mountain? Yeah. Huh. Revelation Mountain is always surrounded by some mysterious kind of veil. I asked around the village, but everyone insists they don't know nothing about it. But maybe they really do know something, and they're just keeping it from me. Ah, the way, I reckon this village has been protecting something secret up there for ages. That's what my gut's telling me. From YouTube chat, hi. Hello, hello. We have story is happening now. Like, story, story. And I'm interested. And I can't help wondering if it's got some kind of connection to why Neon got turned into a Pokemon and showed up right near this place. 
Well, we didn't exactly show up right near this place. You did kind of take us on a multi-day journey to get back to this town. You think so? Could Revelation Mountain have a connection to why I'm a Pokemon now? I could just be overthinking things. But I won't know unless I go and see what's up there now, will I? So I'm just gonna have a little peek around. If it looks dangerous, I'll turn back. So what do you say? You wanna tag along? Well, I mean, if it's got to do with Neon, then it might be worth checking out. As long as it doesn't cause any troubles for anyone else. Oh, looks like you're thinking my way. Then let's get a move on. Why do I feel like this is gonna go bad? Something's gonna happen, we're gonna go up there, and the reason it's sacred is like an evil legendary was chained there, and we're gonna waken them and... I don't know. Let's get a move on. We can reach Revelation Mountain from the gate. Oh boy! It seems like both Mr. Farfetch'd and Vice Principal are recovering well. It's such a relief. I love summer. I love summer too. Summer in the village is the best. Something strange happened yesterday. Something I just loved, uh, I'd lost, just suddenly showed up again all on its own. Man, that was the best. Ah, the good old Litwick doing their job. You know, I had a mysterious experience myself. Just when I was thinking that my back was getting itchy, someone scratched it for me. But when I turned around, there was no one there. You get to do the good deed and get the spooky, spooky power up. I still can't believe it. I, the vice principal, actually fainted? When I think back on that night, for some reason, I get the feeling that whatever I saw wasn't all that scary. And yet, oh, what a disgrace. I can't believe it. How could I ever show my face? It's all just so embarrassing. Oh, we did you. And now there are three of you! Say something if you're there! <laughs> Poor guy, he's traumatized. I want to taste adventure, yay! It's sure hot every day, but it's nice. This really is the best village, <laughs> serene village. I put my heart into it. Yep, I'm a painter. To me, art is. Well, art is. Ba, 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 ba. First things first, we sell all the pristine apples that we've gotten to power up our coffers. See if there's anything good to buy. An attack looplet. Hmm. Might as well stock up on those and... Eh, honestly, why not? I thought I sold all the apples. What the hell? I apparently have another apple for you that I forgot to sell. Here. Apple. <laughs> Maybe the Litwick just appeared and gave it to me. And I didn't even know. But yeah, something bad's gonna happen. It just has to. That's the way of things. And it makes me very, very worried. Well, let's see. Make sure to do. Hmm. We'll take a totter orb. Quickly check out the school, because why not? Ba 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 Always gotta check to make sure there's no fallen items we can't abscond with. Like this, we found an Orenberry. Welp. Time to go on the dangerous adventure that feels very big. Let's go to that sacred place. And see what happens. Alright, let's do this. 
Real casual like, just play it cool. There's a whole gate to this place? Well then, today is my day for guard duty. But no one ever wanders by, and I've got nothing to guard against. But if anyone does come by, I will have to run them off, all right? Huh. Well, I guess... Hmm. I guess it's just their tradition. We have to guard this barrier. That's the path to Revelation Mountain, huh? So Hippopotas is on guard today. The adults in the village all take turns at it, I know. So, what are we gonna do? Just you watch. Huh, Mr. Nazlif? What's the matter? Sorry, friend. I just found out there I was a little slip-up on the old guard duty. Turns out that apparently I'm supposed to be on guard duty today. You are? Well, I surely do thank you for telling me. To be perfectly honest, I do not much like pulling guard duty. What a boy, ass. So I will just leave the rest up to you. You'd think that because Nuzleaf is new to the village, that Hippopotas would be a little more wary. Especially because he was just around asking for it. I reckon it worked. Then should we go? Up Revelation Mountain? I am still afraid. But at the very least, that kind of shows that, like, uh... Oh, hey, Barrage off the rip? But it does, uh, kind of mean that... Blah, blah, blah. At least Hippopotas doesn't think it's super duper important. Huh. So it's like important enough to be a taboo. And also, I just gotta say the colors of this place are amazing. But it's important enough that they take it seriously in various ways. But not so important that they, like, uh, what's the word? Obsess over it. At least that's the vibe I'm getting. Guard boost, more for me. And an Emra Up Orb. Considering this is a story one, I'll save that Emra Up Orb uh, for if we uh, get enough Emras that I want to use it. Get annihilated, Miss Magius. Get punched! Ooh, this is some good music. <laughs> now it makes sense uh, why Nuzleaf disappeared. He has guard duties. Except that he, uh, ba ba ba, what's the word? Like, he's new in town, so it, ma it makes me feel like he wouldn't be on, like, the guard duty registry yet. And plus, he, like, I don't know, he said he, that he went about to start up his own, like, investigation into potential things. Like, I don't know. I don't, like, especially because multiple, like, uh, multiple of his little adventure out thing of these took multiple days. So it's not just guard duty. Like, maybe that one day that we were left alone but overall, it can't be uh, account for all of them. Yeah, the music here is just so good. Yeah, it's just mostly Nuzleaf still feels like an enigma because he did guide us through dungeons uh, when we were being chased by the Behiim. But he also, like, got pretty upset at us for dragging him into things. But then, he still took us in. And cared for us, but at the same, same time, he also is pretty laid back. And is, like, willing to let us... Oh, Jesus. Mighty Ina. 
<laughs> who is now uh, on our connection orb because I punched him from very far away. But he's just like, there's something up with him. I'm not totally sure, but again, my brain is thinking, mm, I don't know. He's new to the village. Goes out on a bunch of expeditions on his own. Well, not expedition expeditions, but... He goes out and does stuff for multiple days at a time. Like, the very beginning, he was multiple days' journey away from the village when he found us. He's just very interesting and mysterious. I'm not sure what to make. Nom. But um, we'll probably get our answer here soon. Again, maybe he totally is, is on the up and up. Maybe he's a bandit looking for treasure at the Revelation Mountain. But the... Hmm, I don't know. It's just weird. Toughness? More for me. We gotta explore more. More Emeras, especially because this is probably going to be a decently long dungeon. The more Emeras we find, the better. But I also just realized this is the first time we've had uh, Nuzleaf with us since the tutorial. When he taught us to go through here. I think this is the last dungeon before a major difficulty spike. Oh boy. At least I have a ton of, like, apples and stuff. Or, like, I have a bunch of, uh, gathered up resources to pro hopefully help me through. Man, hearing you talk about Nuzleaf gets me thinking about all the possibilities of the characters I already know this character. <laughs> like, there is an interesting phenomena, it feels like, with people who, or like, with media that you don't know a lot about. Why couldn't I give him Apple? That's just kind of weird. I guess it's because he's a special NPC. I don't know, it just feels weird there that I couldn't select him. I can't even select him as a character to be, so he's not technically a part of our party, huh? But it's basically just this phenomena that is embodied by the line from, I think, I forget what it, what it was exactly, but, uh, like, I'm not sure. It, like, I'm trying to think of the line itself. I think it was from Pirates of the Caribbean, where it's like the edges of the map are being filled in. And, like, the world's the same, there's just less in it kind of thing. When it comes to like, media that you're brand new to, you get this like, uh, feeling of majesty because, like, you don't know all that much about it. There, it. The sky's the limit, basically. But then the more as things get filled in and things get like, cemented into place, like, world-building-wise or story-wise, the less there is to, like, theorize or ponder over. It's like, it's just an interesting little phenomena with fictional stories. <laughs> you couldn't play as him as he doesn't have a belly meter? I guess it's just that, uh, 
he's not on the connection orb, so we can't play as him. Get smacked, Ponyard. Yeah, smack Nuzleaf all you want, but I, I'm pretty sure that he's immortal. Oh, hey, an elixir. I was just going to say that I probably should have brought more elixir stuff with me. Numb. Shit. I've been embered. Back him with. I probably should have brought some heal seeds, too. I wasn't expecting to get burned, though. Shit. Thank you. Gabriel. Thank you for nullifying this bastard. Focus all the energy you want, you will still die. Ah, kind of odd that this is a very small dungeon area. Eat apple, nom. Vacuum! You dare leer at me? Punch! <laughs> That's my purse, I don't know you. Slam. Also, it's just like Revelation Mountain. Revelations are to be had here. I just wonder what they will be. My cover looplet. Well, since it's just on the ground, nom. And the fact that, like, this day, or was it yesterday? Like, one of these day in game days. We were told about the fact that, like, Pokemon becoming stone had finally been revealed to the village. So it is kind of like a the outside world is finally getting to the village, and even if it's in the form of news. So just be very interesting. Get burned, idiot. How dare you, Nom. Dragon Rage all you want. Well, first things first, let me quickly check. Uh, raises my attack, so mine. Punch! Utter annihilation. Nom. Although it seems that Nuzleaf ran out of his ranged attack, because he's not attacking these enemies that he could rage attack. Punch! I guess I'll let you deal with him. Apparently he doesn't want to deal with him. Get super punched, idiot. Numb. We should probably... Give an elixir to the boy. So he can continue his artillery fire. But what will be up there on Revelation Mountain? A legendary Pokemon, an artifact? Or simply a revelation in and of itself? I got another Reviver Seed. Huzzah. Punch. Nom. 
We will swap with a normal apple, and then from the ground we shall eat the apple. The world is a plate. Therefore, the world is flat. Die. Reminds me how canonically in The Lord of the Rings, elves, all elves are flat earthers. Because they're just special and <laughs> that's how their sight is so much better than everybody else's. The world is literally flat for them and they can see for miles. Or at least that's what I heard. I could be wrong. I've been lied to by the universe before. I couldn't use Dragon's Breath on Nuzleaf. He's immortal, probably. No, you had to hit Gabriel, the poor boy. He did nothing to you. You dare do this to me? Die. Nom. Another apple that we shall swap with a normal one to then eat off the ground. Nom. You dare show your ugly face? Get smacked, idiot. Now leave the P.E.K.K.A. behind. Fool! I am the Karate Master here. And now you are dead. Would you like to go on? Yes. Emeras. There are Emeras here. Mine, 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 mine. Ah, power boost Y for the boy. Shit. But the other one, the other one, the other Emera. I'm being denied because this AI is a bitch and it, it almost just looks like he disappeared. At least we got a power up for the boy. No idea what the other one was, but unless it was a second barrage, doubt it would be uh, all that useful to me. In the words of Raditz, then you're useless to me! Let's see. More for me. Yeah. I love the music in this game. It's just so nice. Ba, ba, ba. Also, the music is, uh, hmm. Like, sometimes ominous, sometimes, like, not ominous. Face me! I get rid of your pawnyard ally, and now I'm here to kill you! For a moment there, I thought I got burned from that. That would have sucked. Burn is just evil because it lowers my attack, too. You fucker! Foresight! Now I'm gonna punch you! Spite is aptly named. It's just there to annoy me. I'm gonna take away all your power points! Haha! <laughs> I'm gonna take away your head barrage! For the boy. I could have gone off a secondary barrage, but it's good to have, like, uh, multiple chances of that barrage happening. Type Bulldozer! Ha 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 ha! We'll replace one of these guard boosts. Intimidator! Hmm, sometimes near you fail. 
Let's see. Honestly, get rid of that. Intimidate! Take this! And I'll just eat this off the ground, because we don't have any other small apples. Or like a non-sellable apples. We'll quickly check out this here pathway. See if it leads to a dead end. Dibbidi da. That it does. Now we'll head back to the room. You dare die. Is that another? Oh, clutch performer. Yep. I'm not here to get low health. I'm here to kill you. <laughs> Dear Arceus, are you sure you're not the boss? I'm always the boss. In training. It's like a uh, Dynasty Warriors. Uh, man, a Pokemon Dynasty Warriors game would be cool. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Dynasty Warriors. Looks like we're pretty far up now. Oh, look at that! Looks like there's an open space ahead here. Let's check it out then. What the fuck? Why? Okay, first off, why is the Paul like one of the Polyrath brothers here? Secondly, I guess it's no longer honey season, so the bee drill can, like, have a chance to guard. But and I guess the sheriffs, like, if there's no ongoing crime, the sheriffs guard here too. But it's just like, why so many? I thought on how one would do a Pokemon Mosu game a few times before. It's an interesting thought experiment. I still say that a Kirby Warriors game would be perfect, and you can call it Star Warriors. It would be amazing. The, the, that there's the sheriff and his boys. And they've even got the likes of Beedrill and Polyrath out here on guard. To be real with you, I never even thought they'd be this much of a guard. If we tried to force our way through, we'd end up in some serious trouble. Well, it's a real shame, but it looks like this is the end of the line for today. I reckon we're gonna have to pack it in. And now you're gonna have to actually be the guard for the rest of the day. Never mind. <sighs> I sure do hate to do it, though. We might have found something out if we could have just seen what lies up ahead. I'm sorry, Neon. We might have even found out why you came into this world, Neon. Or at least some hint at a reason why. I believe got no choice. Not with that many eyes watching that place. It's like my old pop said. And this is a sacred place for the village. I don't think it would have sat right with me to barge in. So maybe this is for the best. I reckon so. All of that tension I was feeling. And I guess not. <laughs> it would just end up this way. Well then... I reckon I might go talk with Hippopotas. I'll have to apologize and tell him that tale about the mix-up was all mixed up. So I guess I'll be heading back first. See ya. Like I was saying, he could have just pretended to be on guard the rest of the day. And then, when they're like, wait a minute, Mr. Nesliff, you were all wrong. I was like, well, I thought I was. I'm sorry. I guess we should head home too, then. All of that, like, mystery and suspense, and it just ended with, like, I guess the revelation that they take guarding that place super seriously. Huh. Uh-oh. What's gonna happen at the town at night? I guess we couldn't learn anything at Revelation Mountain after all. Why in the world did I become a Pokemon? Maybe if I wait a little longer, my memory will come back. I thought I'd be able to figure something out if I just hung around here a while. You know it'd be funny if there was a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game? Where a human came to the Pokemon world, lost their memories, was just like, there has to be a reason. And then, like, they go on many adventures and forge a life here. And then they learn, nope, you just accidentally came here. <laughs> but now I'm not so sure. Those BEMs still worry of me too. We're alright for now, but... If those BEMs show up here, I don't want to get everyone in the village caught up in this mess. So I know what I have to do. 
What? I am, I am not going to leave village, am I? Maybe it's about time to get moving. I might have to leave the village. I'll have to leave everybody, even Gabriel, behind. It's going to be hard, but if I stay, it'll just cause trouble for everyone. But if you stay, you can beat up the Behem and turn them in to the sheriff. A journey begins, but we didn't even go up in the Mystery Mountain. The next morning. What the hell? Morning, Neon. About yesterday. I sure am sorry. I thought we could figure something out if we went to Revelation Mountain. Well, I reckon we can't rush it. Well, we'll just have to wait for your memory to come back. Just mind you don't run into them Behem, all right? But like, we've been here a fair amount of time, so I don't think we should worry about the Behem causing trouble. Maybe the reason the Behem haven't done anything is because we've stayed in the village. Good morning, Neon. Let's do our best out there today. And I'm just thinking of sneaking out like a weirdo. Don't you wander off too far, and don't you go anywhere strange, either! Cutscene time? What? I've got a bad feeling about this. I know what you mean. It's pretty creepy. What's wrong? There seem to be suspicious poke- The BM! There seem to be some suspicious Pokemon hanging around here. Suspicious Pokemon? Yeah, they've been hanging around at the outskirts of the village the past few days. They seem to be looking for something, but there's something eerie about them. They've got these big heads. There's three of them always roaming around together. Could it be? They're so creepy. They were staring at Budu the other day, and they all started flashing lights on their fingertips at each other. Yeah, their fingers light up! What's up with that? Is that how they communicate with each other? No doubt about it. It's the Behem. They've made it all the way to the village. Judging by how they were staring at Badu, they must be looking for a child. Who knows what nastiness they're up to. You two take care now. Oh boy! Just try and give me extra reasons. Meanwhile, I'm still on the line of we should stay here with all of the buddies and friends. I'm not, I'm not on team let's leave, no. Do, 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 do. A lot of mysterious things are happening, but they're nothing but good things. I guess we've got nothing to worry about. Something astonishing happened to me the other day. I was lost when I suddenly heard a voice from behind me that they told me the way home. But when I turned around, there was no one there! I heard a voice while I was playing that said, have fun. So I went ahead and had tons of fun. Honestly, if I had a voice tell me that, I would be just scared. Your old teacher is feeling much better now. When summer vacation's over and we go back to school, you can look forward to more of my exciting classes. Do, do. Yes, I've made quite a recovery indeed, but I'm still not feeling quite like my old self. That's why I'm here at the cafe to relax. I'd like to be a first-rate adventurer someday. I have a long way to go, but I'll do my best. Ah, right, come on. You're already up there. You're already a first-class adventurer. I need to tell someone about Z. And then I befriend the unknown. I can then have... <laughs> create an Entei father figure. With the power of all the unknowns. I can create a father figure to exceed Nuzleaf. I'm Unknown Z. Unknown Z. Getting sleepy, huh? And plus, we can't leave the town. That means we'd leave Mama Kangaskhan. <laughs> we can unlock the entire alphabet, I guess. Why is it f so fun, Zap? I have the feeling that someone somewhere is looking out for me. 
Well, just more no rewards. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Hi, oh, Seaman Sona. Biggity big. Bop, bum, bop, bum. Hmm. You know, I'm not going to sell all the special apples. I'll need to stock up on apples, I feel like. And even though... I th I just realized the reason why the special apples are the way they are is because that's like the only way to get m money in bulk in this game. Because uh, getting money from the expeditions isn't really a guaranteed thing. Plus, if we leave, we'll never hear this song again. Why, hello there. Just couldn't wait for school to start, hmm? That must be it. When summon vacation's over, be ready to come back and enjoy your school life. Then there's me, plotting to skip school forever. I'm gonna skip school. Then I'll skip town. But the one thing I'll never skip is the behem. Wait, I was gonna check and see about buying items from ya. Yeah, we should just buy that, I'd feel like. Right, let's check and see what expeditions that we can do. Ba -ba. What do you say? Hey, hey. It, hey, hey, it's time for the guild members to gather. Go check out Corfish's secret base. Well, obviously, you're not going to be a bad guy. But wait a minute. What else? Uh, there was also another one at Odd Field. Are you the one at Odd Field? Ha. Huh. I wonder if the expedition's technically uh, stacked. So, uh, I'm going to bring out a bunch of, uh, blast seeds. Just in case the game doesn't let me choose. Nope, uh, we can indeed do multiple. Oh, boy. Well, looks like we're fighting pants here. ba 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 Well, since we're going to be going up against Pants here, maybe we should bring a Zuril. Let's see. Who else do we have that would be good against a fire type? Yeah, I guess a Zuril. Up, oh, come along, a Zuril. Uh, have an attack. And let's go. Let's go help. Corfish, gather the guild. Ba -ba -ba. This is totally GTI music. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba 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 Oh, what the hell? It's a remix? Hell yeah! This is cool! Da, 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 da. Super cool. Hmm. Sometimes cuts the attacker's HP to one when a, a move by the attacker damages you. Well, since we're gonna be fighting Pans here, or whatever his name is, Pan Flame. Just be good to have. 
Ah, shit. I still punch you. Fun fact, this remix was in fact in GTI. I don't remember exactly where it's used, though. Huh. Definitely interesting. Still a very good remix, though. Ba, 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 ba. Like, even though it's just, like, a remix, ad like, part added, it's still cool. Uh, additional effects to be triggered. Hmm. I guess I'll give that to you, since you have moves that give effects. You jerk, you slow the boy! Now get punched! String shot all you want, it's not gonna save your life. Like, this segment almost sounds like a, like, a specific kind of Kirby song. Oh! Corfish is waiting here. Please don't, like, Corfish, don't pull the evil master of darkness routine on me. I will not be happy. I'd be very much annoyed at an evil dark master of evil routine being pulled on me. Hey, thanks for coming. <laughs> I'll introduce you to my guild members in the back. <laughs> Corfish introduced its friends to Neon and had a great time. It was a good time. <laughs> like I said, we actually do get to come have tea sometimes. Hey, hey, I already have lots, but let's be friends. Name's Krogunk. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Hello, my name's Sunflora. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy we're friends now. That's cool. That's cool. I just love how they put the Monster House secret base missions at the start of the game to traumatize you. Exactly. Oh, hey, it leads to Bidoof from there. But I can't tell what Pokemon leads from them. The icons are too small. Well, I guess we'll finish this. We'll fight, fight the dude if we have to. We'll fight the dude just because we have to. Might as well. Ba 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 ba. But that, I do like that though because you can never be sure then when a secret base mission will be an ambush and when one will be just normal. Oh hey, it's a timber. And now you are added to our... Oh. Oh. I didn't mean to do that. I could just do that quickly. Punch! Hmm. Is there anything we'd want to swap out, though? ba 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 Nothing I really want to get rid of. I can just up my HP while I'm here. If I was low on belly, I would have dropped an apple and ate it to make room. How dare you, you bastard. Get payback for poisoning me, you fuck. Ba -ba -ba. Barrage is mine. Even though I'm poisoned and don't know which way is which. I'll quickly check this way. Sleep guard. I guess until I get a better Emera. Yeah, let's go ahead and leave. I don't want to go to just like a few extra rooms. Also a convenient tutorial for monster houses. That's also true. It is very handy dandy.
It teaches the player paranoia and pain. A power boost Y? You better give that to the boy. That is the boy's power. Haha, <laughs> idiot. Power boost Y for the boy. Alliance Expert. Let's quickly read again. Increases the accuracy of Alliance and... Uh, so yeah, I guess we'll put that in because we can. In fact... So that when we run into the Monkey Fireman, we can annihilate him. Well, that's what you get to going down to 1 HP. I'll just eat this apple, because I got snarled at by a bastard. Burn the timber, burn the timber. Focus all the energy you want. Punch! Ah, connection orb for that guy got activated. Hmm, a quick orb. Using it speeds up the entire party. Uh, I guess we could swap out the Pekka Berry. Ba -ba -da -da. Like, this musical segment is just interesting. It's just interesting to me, and I like it. Ah, uh, not a Ms. Magius, you... You fuck! Why do you always do this to me? You ruin all of it with your spiteful behavior! Get... you motherfucker. Get intimidated, asshole. And I guess I'll just nom. Raise my HP a bit more. Surely! the pants here or whatever he is. There's someone ahead. Let me quickly... Oh, not that. Go to my inventory. And elixir myself. There appears to be someone ahead. Rescue is not available. Let's go! Find and defeat the leader. I think it's the one up ahead. Oh, I, hmm. Can we not activate, uh... Oh, there we go. Still a bit hard for me. Kill this man. He's the boss. I probably should have gone after his lackeys, but oh well. Thanks for the battle. You really are strong. I didn't even need my blast seeds. Connected. Connections have spread farther. There was an espion there. Hmm. You know what? No, let's finish this dungeon. Oh. Get back here and fight me, you cowards. I wonder if there'll just be a exit in each way. No, it's just a neat little specialized room. This is the, hey, you're going to fight a guy special floor, which is neat. I like this. No expedition requests? Well, okay. I just wanted to check out this interesting place. Maybe see if I could fight those other panseers. Or whatever they are. I don't know. It's like, I, I do not know their actual names. Looks like we're done for the day. Hey, Neon. Don't you think we're getting a lot better at this? <laughs> I've been feeling more and more confident lately. If we keep up the good work, maybe we can graduate from our junior status. I mean, I think we can handle real expedition society work now. We did beat a Salamence. 
Yeah, we definitely can. No doubt about it. Gabriel is really excited. Maybe now isn't the time. I'm afraid those Behem are going to show up here sooner rather than later. When that happens, everyone will get caught up in my problems. I can't let that happen. I guess I just have to leave here. I have to save something to Gabriel. Huh? What's wrong, Neon? You've got a look on your face like you were hit in the stomach or something. What? You were actually attacked by those suspicious Pokemon? And you escaped a serene village? I think it's raining out. Like, actually here in my real world life. Huh. Weather be wacky. And you escaped a serene village? And now those Pokemon are right outside the village. So you're going to leave to protect the other villagers? B but I finally have a friend. But, well... I knew when you told me you used to be a human that you were different. But I didn't know you'd been through all that. I wish we could be together forever. But I understand why you're worried about the other villagers. I guess you do have to leave. Oh, I'm crushed. At least, or at least I was for a second. You got a plan there? If it has to be that way, then I know what I have to do. I'm going to leave the village too. Of course you are. You, 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 you impulsive little man. What? This works out nicely. I've been wanting to get out of this silly old village anyhow. We've gotten a lot stronger, so I think we can make our way in the world okay. Even if those Behem or whatever they're called attack us. We'd, we'd be better off battling them together instead of just you by all yourself. So that's it, Neon. We're leaving the village together. I need to get home and work on convincing my old pops. See you tomorrow, Neon. He didn't even wait for me to agree. Just as headstrong as ever. I think Gabriel and I are strong enough to battle those Behem now, though. Maybe it would be a good idea to leave together. After all, I have to talk to Nuzleaf, too. It's gonna be a weird thing for Nuzleaf. Because... Like, again... He was kind of hesitant to bring us on, but then he was, like, all on board... After, like, bringing us in for so long. Who's on the what now? Then Behem are just outside the village! And you don't want to cause any fuss for anyone else, you say. You're fixing to leave. Nuzleaf and the other villagers have been so good to me. And that's exactly why I can't let anything happen to the village. I see. Except, I reckon I can't let you leave the village. What? It ain't like them Behem already found you. There's no way to tell from some rumors if it really is them Behem. Glowy- big heads, glowy fingers. I don't know. I think it's pretty obvious it's them Behem. You know of another Pokemon that, or, <laughs> that looks like a Behem? And if you don't take care, then Behem could find you out there. I reckon you should just wait it out here. Yes, you ought to stay put right here in the village. Got it? Nuzleaf. Whatever happened to the go out, live your own life, and experience things? I didn't think you would oppose me. From what Rosalia and Radicate told me, it has to be those Behem. Why is Nuzleaf trying to stop me? But if he says no, I can't just up and leave the village anyways. I mean, you could. <laughs> but I also can't just let those Behem come find me here. What should I do? Especially because Gabriel just went up to Caracosta probably and said, Hey, old pops, I'm going to leave the village of Neon. <laughs> it's no use. I have no clue what to do. I guess I should just sleep on it. I wonder what will happen now. What will happen now? Remember to stay hydrated, everybody. Before the Behem find you. You had a great adventure today. You will give me more story, you bastard. Morning, Neon. Take care out there today. <laughs> Just not even saying now. Don't you run away. Oh, yeah. 
I wonder how things went with Gabriel. You fool! How many times do I have to tell you? It doesn't matter what you say, I want to go! I want to get out of this village and join the real Expedition Society! I want to join the Expedition Society and see everything this world has to offer! Why can't you understand that? Sounds like it's not going well. And I keep telling you it's too dangerous out there! It's not just me who thinks so, everybody in the village agrees! Don't you have any common sense? I guess I don't! Maybe that is common sense, but I don't think everyone really thinks that way. Hey, where do you think you're going? I'm gonna talk to everyone in the village. We'll see what they think. Oh, Neon! Why can't my old pops understand? Let's go, Neon. Where? To the plaza! We have to ask everybody if they think we can make it on our own outside the village. I think everybody knows how hard we've been working lately. I'm gonna prove my old pops wrong. Let's go to the plaza. We have to ask the other villagers. I don't think they're going to say what you think they're going to say. What? You say you're leaving the village, but is Caracosta okay with that? I'd be worried. Are you guys going away somewhere? I like how her reaction was first, but what does Caracosta say about this? Well, time for the awkward moment or oh, I guess maybe we can just talk to everybody else. What? Did you say you're leaving the village? There's no way you could pull off something like that. The grown-ups will never let you. Huh? You want to see the outside world? There's no way. What? You're going to leave the village? No way. There's absolutely no way you can make it out there. I mean, you guys still are just kids. Huh? The two of you are going on a trip? Oh, Gabriel's always dreamed of leaving the village. But if you guys are gone, I won't get to see you at school anymore. Huh? You're going to leave? Oh, if that's the case, I'll really miss you. But part of me does want to see you achieve your dreams. Won't it be hard, though? All the grown-ups will definitely try to stop you. I wonder, will you have anything to say? What? You're saying you're leaving? It's too soon for cute kids like you to go leaping from the top rope. Take it slow! Hakra! You're leaving here? What a terrible idea! Far too dangerous! Unbelievable. Outside the village. I can't allow you to do that. Many dangers lurk outside the village. I mean, technically, haven't we left the village multiple times to go on the expeditions? What? You're going to leave our village? Just the two of you kids? I certainly have been impressed by the work you two have put in lately. But I still think rushing away from the village could be a rec- Yeah, excuse me. Meh. But I still think rushing away from the village could be a reckless move. Anyway, there's school to think about, too. I think you would have better hold off a little longer. Bah, 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 bah. Go ahead and sell these pristine apples. And first things first, put away anything like these extra blast seeds. Only one, let's see. And I guess this quick orb that I never used. Let's talk to the people in the cafe. Hi, how are you doing today? Gabriel has always said these things, but I think it is dangerous. Hey, a Charizard! Follow me! Where? My cheek pouches can store lots of food, but I'd rather others keep their food separately. You want to leave the village, but you're still just kids. Shouldn't you wait until you've graduated from school? Are you both leaving? Well, you st say, well, you say the two of you are leaving the village? How reckless. Harsh from Mama Kangaskhan. That's all she has to say. And will it only end after we actually try to leave? Check over here for any items. <laughs> oh, 
Will it only ever happen if we actually try to leave? What of all the connections we've made here? That'd be kind of funny we leave the village but can still summon our allies. Through the power of the connection orb, we summon their souls. A gathering for those who love paintings. Cave of training, Smeargle sneak secret base. If he's been in the village, I don't think he'd try to kill us. Where was Farfetch'd? I didn't see him. Oh, uh, no, because there's, uh, buh 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 Because there's those two that we talked to. So I don't think there was a Farfetch'd. We'll double check the school. Because there's no blue dots on the map here. Farfetch'd would be in here. Was he in here? Nope, this doesn't look like he's here. He's not here either. It's always possible that I'm just blind. By the pond in the plaza. I don't think he was. That was, uh, what was his name? Not Ludicolo. I keep forgetting his name. Oh, there you are. Ah, I was blind. He just blended in. I'm mega blind. What? You say you're taking a trip? But what about school? What about your studies? And another thing. Are you sure you should be telling your teacher this? What's a teacher to do in a spot like this? Lombre, yes. Uh, my old pops. I guess he was right. All the grown-ups said we couldn't make it. I guess there's no way as long as we're kids. Yeah, I know. I know they're just worried about us, and that is nice of them. I wish they would try to understand. But it's my dream to leave, and that it takes a lot of courage to do that. Hey, Neon, I just realized something. I acted like I was just going along with you and leaving the village, but that's not the truth. I have always dreamed about being in the Expedition Society. I've always dreamed of leaving the village. So really, even if you weren't here, I would have wanted to leave. That's how I've always felt. But, uh... Gabriel. Sorry, Neon. Looks like we can't go together. Oh, well, actually, about that. <laughs> Nuzleaf said I couldn't leave either. What? Nuzleaf said no? Huh. So you've been told not to leave the village, too. But aren't those Behem still after you? Why won't they understand? Ah, uh, just thinking about it is making me tired. I don't feel like doing anything. I guess we should just go home for now. Huh? Just now. I could have sworn we were being watched. Is a Behem going to come out of a weird place? Maybe it's just my imagination. Maybe the Behem know that you're going to leave, and they're going to come for you. I didn't see those Behem today either. Maybe I should just stay here in the village like Nuzleaf says. But if they did show up here, what would I do? Fight, maybe? Could we fight them? Or would they just utterly annihilate us? Morning, Neon. You're heading out again today. I reckon you should be careful. Good morning, Neon. Let's go get him. What's going on? This is a major attitude adjustment from yesterday. I guess everything's fine. Hey, Neon. Could I ask you for your advice about something later? That's interesting. Can I ask you a question, but later? Advice? Yeah. I did a lot of thinking last night and realized something. Well, let's just talk about it later. For now, let's do our best as Junior Expedition Society members today. I do find it funny that all the Pokemon were just like, <laughs> took the, I <laughs> took it as like a hypothetical. Don't go too far now, all right? And stay out of straight places too. Ba 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 da 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 I don't know if you should be so eager to evolve. You'll end up looking like me. And you don't like yourself? I really can't wait to evolve. 
When school starts, you better study hard. Ah, judging by the look on your face, I guess you gave up on leaving the village. Ah, well, don't swear it. I've said it so, said it before, and I'll say it again. Stay out of trouble over the summer. Do we understand each other? Ever so slightly. Let's see, is there anything good to buy from you? We got more apples. They're always good to buy. Stocking up on cheap apples are always good. We'll quickly check the cafe. I can't let evil do a slide, hmm? It's another nice, peaceful day. That's just the... I'll give you a... Mushroom guy. I'll do my best. You do too. And now we'll quickly check the school for any fallen items. Like nuclear warheads. Summer vacation is almost over, so it's time for me to get ready. Hmm, already? Broadening one's horizons. I do believe that's a worthy endeavor. Could it be? But could it be that there is something perhaps even more important? Do -do -do. But I really like the vibe of this section of the game. It's just interesting. It's so different from all the other Mystery Dungeon games that I've played. It's just so cool. Da -da -da -da. Let's quickly check. See, any new... Missions? Nope, just gathering. Well, let's quickly double double check. Because there's gathering, which is one star. This fucking you and your check out the door. That's a three star that I am not ready for. And there's this guy, Pee Wee Meadow, that wants to fight. That's a one star at floor three. I'll go. Hang out with, uh, the diddly D guy. It's very, very slow burn, not throwing you into things all too fast, which I do enjoy, all things considered. Well, let's go to the cave of visiting. Okay, cave of visiting. The cave of training, and... See about it. Come along, dearling. Let's go on an adventure. Ooh, a free tiny reviver seed down here. I have no idea why Bayleaf is a three star considering nothing is different on the revisit to Nectar Meadow. Considering that it has to do with the, like, door, I have no idea. Maybe they just think the door is scary. Let me quickly check and see. Then we definitely want to give it to you. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Love the music. Someone's taking me apples. Ah, oh, that Imra's gonna die. You fucker. I slap you. I kill you. I kill you to death. And another attack looplet. At least there were no Imra in this room. I would never have gotten to him in time. Ba -ba -ba. You dare rage at me? Jesus Christ, that can two-shot me. Please die. Maybe it was because I still had that defense down effect. Power boost X. Uh, let me quickly double check. This is normal attack, I do believe. So for me. And Intimidator. Look at the little Rialu. And be afraid. Fear for your life, motherfucker. The Riolu demands your lunch money. Give me all your money.
die. Get blasted, idiot. Ba ba da ba 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 da ba 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 ba. So another power boost X. I need that. It's going to be mine. It's going to be mine, I say. Okay, good. Power boost Y. For the boy. Hmm, luminous orb. Using it makes the floor shape visible. Uh, not all that important to me. I don't care about floor shape. Like, if it was for the entire dungeon, maybe, but... <laughs> Get obliterated, fool. Your money is mine. Your rule 34 money. Is this barrage? <laughs> My power grows. Oh, this is just a dead end. Ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. You better have that power boost, and you'll give it to me! Power Boost X for ultimate power. From the YouTube chat, finally on a break. Huzzah! We tried to leave the village, but everyone said no. So we did not. At least not yet. Although I can only imagine that the thing Gabriel was like talking about, like, hey, can I ask your advice later? He's totally going to ask us, should we just run away, despite everyone saying that we shouldn't. I still want to know, unless the, unless the boy has a wacky, wacky idea. Unless the boy goes, hey, what if we, before we leave, check out Revelation Mountain? That would be terrible. You're gonna, almost, almost... Barrage guard, but nothing really barrages me. So I shall use. <laughs> I realized something. Since when do we care about permission, Gabriel? Probably. <laughs> so what's been happening with the story so far? Uh, well, let's see. Uh, ba ba ba. Oh, hey, another barrage. Well, I'll give it to you. But, like, uh, let me see from my brain. It's weird that I can't, like, off the top of my head exactly say. But. Because I think it was mostly, at least the part that sticks out in my brain, was, uh, well, first we went and had an adventure with one of the other schoolmates, uh, Esper, as opposed to Gabriel, because he was being punished, and was unavailable that day, which then unlocked all our schoolmates to be dungeon buddies. Then, Nuzleaf said some things about uh, Revelation Mountain, the sacred location of the village. And we even actually tried to sneak in there with Mr. Nuzleaf, only to uh, discover they have that place fortified and do not want people in. And then we heard that the Behem that were chasing us at the beginning of the game, like three streams ago, are now out and about the outskirts of the village. And uh, player character me doesn't want to get the village and the villagers wrapped up in our problems, so we want to leave. But even Mr. Nuzleaf said, no, nah, I don't think you should do that. So that's kind of where we are right now. We don't know what's at the top of the sacred mountain. We don't know what the Behem want. We still don't know what uh, Mr. Nuzleaf's deal is properly. But we might learn. Because it does, it definitely feels like the story is picking up to some degree. Hey, Scrafty, you want to die? Get slapped, idiot. Power Boost X. 
boost my power. Allow me to become a god. <laughs> the game leaves tons of mystery crumbs to ponder, and I do really like that. I like being able to think on a story. Even if sometimes I forget to do that and just kind of dead-eyedly just consume a story. When a story gets good and I actually think about it, I really do enjoy pondering stories and what-ifs and what could possibly be. I'm gonna punch you in the face. I'm gonna punch you in the face. Is this another barrage? Ah, it's a status mirror. Don't care, yum. Ba ba ba. I've just been really enjoying this game. It's so nice. Orenberry. You dare hit my friend? Die. Wand expert. Yup. I'm going to be batting hundreds after this. At least in this dungeon. You are a fool. Prepare to die. Ba -ba. Punch! Ah, perfect. I needed to drink one of these. The Pokemon. I guess pick up. Huh, interesting. There isn't an ability to... Oh, there was, huh. For, a reason, for some reason, it felt like there wasn't an ability to swap a uh, looplet. But oh, as I say, and I got distracted. That's another problem with me, is I get very distracted very easily. So I'll be like on a train of thought, a thing will happen, and then that thought, gone immediately, never to return. Die. It would be funny if like the entire like uh, student class body came with us and as we left the village. Let's go on an adventure. Everybody left. I think that would be funny. But yeah, like when my brain just gets going, it's very it's still very easy to interrupt. It's like go 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 just turn immediately. Go 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 turn immediately. Just over and over and over and over. Very, very rarely does my mind get locked on to something and stay there. Sometimes I just, like, outright forget after I get distracted. So I have to, like, play detective. I'm like, okay, what was I doing that caught? This feels like a monster house. You honor me with your presence. Allow me to introduce my comrades in art to you. Okay, good. They're just friends, unless they become evil. Okay, good. It was just tea time. There were so many items in there, I was scared. <laughs> you t you will take good care of my friends, won't you? Smooch. I don't like painting that much, actually. Nice to meet you. Hi, my name's Flaffy. Don't call me Fleecy. I'm Flaffy. I'm Furret. You can see me as the that I'm thin and tall. At least they didn't go, and now we're going to kill you. <laughs> We are now connected. No, because there's items here. A pure seed, which just uh, sends us to the 
really don't need another attack looplet. A pure seed is slightly more rare for me. Let's see, is there anything that I care about swapping out? Elixir is very important. Love the music in this game. But every single time I run into a secret base mission now, I'm always going to be afraid. Afraid that they're going to come for me. And try to annihilate me. Get pounced! See, we got 45 more dollars because we stayed here. I'm going to punch you to death. 69. Get niced to death, idiot. This makes me wonder if, like, jewelry is seen as, like... I don't know. A declaration of, like, I can fight you. Because of Emeras and Looplets and stuff. No more expeditions today. Good job, Neon. You put in good work again today. It reminds me, didn't you have something you wanted to talk about? What could it be? Yeah, about that. The thing is, I'm going to go ahead and leave the village anyway. What? I'm not going to tell anybody. I'll just sneak out tonight. I know that's not the best way to go about it, but I can't think of any other way. I'll set out for Lively Town. I'm planning to go there and join the Expedition Society. I'm ready to go all by myself, but what are you going to do, Neon? I want to join the Expedition Society with you, Neon. Partly because we've been working as Junior Expedition Society members a while, but also just being around you makes me feel stronger for some reason. What do you say, Neon? Will you come with me? Considering that, like... Well, let's be honest. Gabriel is more likely to get himself killed without us. He probably needs us. And considering that our motivation is that... We're afraid of the Behem being here. And the Behem are here, moving about the, like, the outskirts of the village... Like, maybe the Expedition Society could help us a bit more. We can tell them, hey, I'm a human. The, uh, there are these behem here. <laughs> From Twitch chat. <laughs> we are Team Fluffles. We are going to beat you to death. That's kind of what it felt like when, when, uh, Smeargle teleported me to the center of the room. But, yeah, honestly, it probably is for the best to get a move on. And again, like, Gabriel would, is in... Like, on his own, would probably just be in danger. Really? I don't like just sneaking away like this, but when I consider the Behem leaving is my only option, I've got no plans beyond getting out of here either. So I might as well try to join the Expedition Society with Gabriel. Thanks, Neon. All right, let's head home and get ready for our journey. We can meet up in front of our houses once it's nighttime. Hasta la vista, Neon. Let's do our best, Neon! I hope I don't get kidnapped by Behem. Uh-huh. It felt like someone was watching us again. The cloud on uh, the cloud going over the bridge almost made it feel like something was shimmering. <laughs> but no one's there. There's something not quite right here. Or maybe I'm just imagining it. Just have curiosity, does your P uh, Sylveon PNG able to cry tears? Sadly, no, I have not made a crying e expression. Right now, I just have neutral, evil eye, shocked, and then happy. I should probably make a crying one for, for when I am betrayed, sadly, by evils of the world. It's been dark out for a while now. I guess it's about time to leave. Nuzleaf. Thanks for everything. I'm so sorry to be sneaking away like this. Would you like to save your adventure? Yes. Hmm. 
this is a good place to stop. Because we usually go for like two to three hours. It's two and a half. I don't know. Also, when the streams come to an end, I really like seeing Gabriel on Riolu's uh, Neon's back. I, I just like uh, when I was trying to think up of an interesting pose for the team. It's like, I think that would be interesting. It fits there. And then, funnily enough, kind of fit the blah, 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 the personalities of them. You know what? We're kind of at that. Something's bound to happen. Let's see what happens. We can always probably do a thing. Nosleaf is in the next room. I should leave through the window. Now let's go a little bit longer so we can see things. <laughs> and immediately from YouTube chat, I'd uh, go just a little bit longer, and I think you should go a touch longer. Oh, boy. All right. It's time to go. Nuzleaf, you took me in and let me stay. Thank you so much. I'm sorry I can't say goodbye. A five-hour unskippable cutscene. That would be funny. Neon. Did you get away clean? That's good. Let's get going, then. Pops, I'm really sorry to be sneaking away like this. You always took such good care of me, even though I was nothing but trouble. I'm, I'm sure I'll be back when, I grow, when I'm grown. So until then, sorry. Let's go. Oh, yeah, before we leave the village, would you come up to the hill with the big tree with me? I want to get one last look at it. Please come along. Oh, this is going to be a touching scene. Can't... For some reason, it, like, coming out, like, Esper's house like that, it almost looked like the door was barred. But I think, uh... Quickly check my... Items. We'll quickly... See if the game will let me... Nope. I just wanted to go to the item box, but... If the game says no, the game says no. Can't even say goodbye to the Litwick. I wanted to get a good, long look at the scenery. It's finally time to leave the village. Of course I love my old pops. And all our friends from school, and even the teachers too. There's all this beautiful scenery, just nothing but good things. Now that we have to leave, I feel the sadness welling up inside me. But we do have to go. Onward! Toward our dreams! Thanks, Neon. I'm sure of it now. Let's leave the village. This is a nice, a nice look. Let's go, Neon. Time to leave the village. I'll at least make... Oh, uh, make a... I'll save here somewhere if we can. But we'll go just a little bit longer, maybe. Like, uh, maybe until we get to another dungeon. I want to see. Can we go this way? We cannot go this way. Interesting. But yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Ah, uh, cutscene. What'll happen? Here we go, Neon. Time to leave. Wait! Dearling, how'd you know? Huh? You're all here. But why? We came to see you off. See us off? Yeah. Did you think we were going to let you just sneak off in the night? I figured this is what you two were up to. Why are you trying to take credit? Wasn't it Esper who first found out and told everybody? We were plotting outside her house, weren't we? <laughs> Esper? Sorry, I thought you two had been acting suspicious for a while. So I took the liberty of following you. It was her following us, not the behem in the village, huh? Good luck, you two. I'll be sad when you're gone, but I'll be cheering for you. Gumi. Of course, I'll be cheering for you too. Take care of yourselves and good luck. And this song. 
This song is good. I've got to admit, I'm a little jealous that you have a dream. Good luck! Dealing. Shelmet. I'll be cheering for you too. Good luck! Well then, I guess... I'll be cheering for you guys too. So... Good luck out there. Esper. Pensham. Thanks, everybody. Honestly, we were just planning to leave without saying goodbye to anyone. But I'm happy you all came to see us off. It's not just us. Huh? Look. What's this? These are letters from everybody in the village. The villagers? Sorry, we kind of told the adults, too. The grown-up should have just come to see you off of the rest of us. I guess this is what they call trying to save face. I think they're just being nice. This just seems like a hassle to me. But go on and read them. Gabriel reads the letters from the grown-ups. You've always been kind of a brat, Gabriel. Oh, no, that's from Lombre. <laughs> but I'm jealous of the way you're chasing your dreams, Lombre. Try not to eat too much. Take care. When you are feeling lonely, remember the village. Everybody. A child's dream. I wonder who's saying this one. A child's dream can't be destroyed by it. It's either Simapore or Nuzleaf. But Nuzleaf's probably safe to the towards the end. A child's dream can't be destroyed by adults. Best of luck to you. Know it? The principal. Let's see, how can I put this? Even if you were problem children, if you work hard, maybe you won't be so problematic. And on that note, good luck. Even the vice principal. Good luck, Gabriel and Neon. I believe in you. I was quite surprised when I heard the news yesterday. I'm glad you opened up to me. Good luck. Good luck. Follow your dreams. School is important, but it's important to go after what you want in life, too. Take good care of yourselves. And good luck. This song is so good. Everybody. Everybody. We have a shop in Lively Town, too. So if you have nothing to worry about, good luck. Time to let these cute kids fly away on their journey. Hurrah! Be brave and never give up. Take care. And good luck. It wasn't that adults didn't understand what we were saying. They were just looking out for us and encouraging us. There's one from my pops. Go on, Gabriel. See you when you get back. Your adventurous spirit can't be contained. If you think you're ready, go see your dreams through to the end. P pops. Good luck to you, Neon. We just happened to meet. You came to live with me. I reckon it sure enough was fun having you around, Neon. I reckon I can't help but worry, but I'm cheering for you. Take care. Nuzleaf. Uh, everybody. Thank you all. We'll do our best. We'll give it everything we've got. All of you. Take care, too, okay? I actually got choked up. All right, everybody. See you when we get back. Bye for now, Serene Village. Good luck. Take care and have fun. And so Gabriel and Neon left Serene Village on a journey. Over mountains, through valleys. That reminds me of fan-made lyrics for the Fugitive song from Rescue Team. I really like that. It kind of reminds me of that. Over mountains, through valleys. They traveled farther and farther east for days. As they made their way to Lively Town. Such good music. That, that that was such a good moment. And that is the perfect time to stop. We got a fantastic point.
And so... That is the end of the Serene Village arc, I guess. I'm very glad- see, this is why I like to stream games. Because I can always... Like, ponder things out loud in chat that's in the no can be like, No, no, you want to go just a little bit longer. Because that was great. <laughs> now you see why we encouraged a bit longer? Exactly. That was- th th that is a much more perfect, uh, like, place to stop. I love how this song uses the partner's theme. I don't think I noticed the partner's theme in there, but it was a good song. Then again, I was too busy reading and getting emotionally choked up there. My throat was- my throat actually hurts a little bit. Remember to stay hydrated. And like, not even hurts because I was talking. It just hurts because of the emotions. The scene is beautiful, but it works a ton better with the previous scenes and build-up. Yeah. Because if you even cut the whole, th like, the whole arc in half and only have it be five chapters, I don't think it would work nearly as much. Because you need that time with, like, just the school kids. You need that time with the school, like, staff. You need that time with Caracosta, that time with Nuzleaf, to really make it work. And that's great. Even though it, that does kind of mean that the school friends are probably out of the story for the most part now, they did give them a send-off, which I appreciate. They didn't just kind of fade away, which I was worried about. But that was good. That was really good. Still no idea what was up with, with Revelation Mountain. At all. Why they have so many guards guarding it. But it is very nice that, like, all the adults are like, we worry about you, but if you are ready, go on ahead. This is also a first for the series, a long-term change of scenery. Yeah, the closest I can think of is... In Explorers, when you graduate from the guild and move into the partner's Sharpedo, uh, Sharpedo Bluff flat. Elsewise, it's just, like, the same base. But even then, because we're going to Lively Town now. We are going into a completely different place. Which is super cool. That's cool. This, this is neat. I like this. This is very, very cool. Although Brain now goes, wouldn't it be awesome if they let you visit the other villages from the other games like Post Town, Treasure Town? That would be cool, but a lot of work. I don't think they'd do that. <laughs> but yeah, th this game is great. The gameplay is so, is like very, very cool. The leveling of moves taken from GTI is great. Adding in looplets and, uh, Emeras to make each run unique and fun is very cool. And I kind of do enjoy the kind of like, uh, they like lower you down to just tiny reviver seeds and normal elixirs for the most part. It's like the balancing feels very nice. And I like that they found a kind of middle ground for recruiting Pokemon. Because like, for GTI, most people probably only ever used the story important team. They used Verizian. They used, uh, I forget his name already. I'm, uh, they used like Dunsparce, Espeon, Umbreon, the flying electric guy that I forget the name of because my brain is mush. Like they probably used, like most players probably used them instead of the randomly recruited Pokemon. So in this one, they made it so that you kind of get to know the Pokemon that you can recruit. Or have, like, semi-story-important Pokemon like the classmates that you can take with you. Which I wonder how that'll work now, once we get to Lively Town. What With the connections we've made. It'll be interesting. Uh, time to set out uh, does use the partner's theme, but it lacks the reverb and dissonance that characterizes the original partner's theme so much, which I love because it symbolizes how the partner isn't alone. Yeah. I honestly thought we got to this part much sooner. That's hardly a bad thing. 
I hear a lot of dismissing of the early chapters, but it's just pleasant. It's just, yeah, it's basically kind of like GTI all over again for me. Because, like, hearing people complain that the early chapters were too slow burn, I can kind of get, but they serve a purpose. So long as there's, like, basically, I don't know. So long as they ration out the rest of the story well, I will have I will adore the early chapters. The early chapters set you up, teach you everything you need to know at a decent pace while like letting you and the partner really get to know each other and just build things up, which is nice. So long as there's like like uh, a decent few chapters left, I would say maybe 15 more chapters would be good. I would say 20, but that seems a bit much. Because then a whole third would have been the slow burn. And then, like, there's be a whole lot more, but, like, I don't know. Basically, if they just ration out the story well, I think the they'll have earned that slow burn. But we definitely can stop there. This is great. Love this game. Love this. So far, loving the story. Because it's very character-based. I love the characters and how they're, like, really building them up. Like, it's almost as if... Huh, I'm trying to think. It's almost like GTI was trying to be Rescue Team 2 in a way. And this is trying to be Explorers 2 in a way. Because we got to know that school, like the schoolmates, and we're able to go out on expeditions with them if we wanted. And they were like kind of expanding on a group of Pokemon that were always there. It's just like, how they're handling the characters in this one is really, really good. Really, really good. The story, the characters, the music, the graphics, the gameplay, it's all just really, really good. And while I can understand some people maybe feeling that the slow burn school part lasted a bit too long, I loved it. Because it sets up so much for that send-off part there. That would not have worked if you just sped through it. It's just very, very good. But, yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, my link tree, linktr.ee slash neonicywings, or direct links to it at the various different places, leads to everything that I do, like my edited content YouTube channel, my streaming YouTube channel, or Twitch with all of these VODs being uploaded after the fact to that streaming YouTube channel. Then there's other places like my art, like my little character in the corner. You can follow me on the various different sites that I throw art to. Then I also write a fair bit. I need to write a bit more. I still need to work on, I still need to finish up that short story. Well, short by my standards. Not sure how short 11 chapters is, but links to some places I upload my stories. And just everything, all there in my link tree. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Just remember, be you, be true, be happy. But most importantly, be kind and stay hydrated. I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye. Bye.